what an American thinks about Nicaragua. Um, Nicaragua is a country in Central America between just south of Honduras and just north of Panama, I think. Um, that, that country is, is pretty. They have this really big um, volcano that's totally barren that I went by. And then they've got this really big lake called Lake Managua in the town. Uh, the town of Managua is right on the southern edge of it. And as you look in the lake, you can't see the other side. So it's kind of like you're next to the ocean, you know. Um, and they do have the ocean really close on either side. <laughs> But um, that downtown area, that town was interesting because it had a really big earthquake back in like 1980 and they had this dictatorship controlling them and they embezzled, they were given all this money to fix it up from like the world, from the IMF, I don't know, World Health Organization, all the other countries, they gave money, but the, the ruling family just embezzled the money and they never fixed it up. So, right there in downtown Managua, right next to the, 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 the lake shore, you can see the, like, the original, like, courthouse building. It's just in ruins. It's just, like, crumbled and abandoned. And there's lots of buildings like that. Like, like the, all the five central downtown areas, totally abandoned. And, the, and then the, built, the rest of the city, like, that's thriving and people are using is just around that. Really weird sight, man. Um, yeah. I don't remember interacting with any of the people there, though. They're not really that, that outgoing. A lot of people in Central America are not really that outgoing. They're not really that cheerful. Especially the Hondurans. But, um... Yeah, and then I rode over to um, the other lake, Lake Nicaragua. And there's this town there that looked like kind of an expat town. There are some expats like look like they look there. And um, um, and then they had this island in the middle of it that. Um, has two, it's two volcanoes next to each other. And they, they were, they were conjoined back like 300 years ago when one of them erupted. But that island, the main town of that island, it had their central uh, plaza and the, and the stores and stuff around it, but it was really basic. All the roads were dirt. And the road from the, where you get off the boat to the, get to the town, it's like, like a dirt road, like a two-track dirt road. And uh, yeah, like living on that island must be bizarre, just totally, um, totally uh, basic. Just a couple stores. And I climbed the mountain, but it was really, really foggy and windy. And then, um, yeah, and then, but then you take the boat, the, uh, to get into Costa Rica on the southern end, you take a boat ride. It's like a jungle safari. And you can see all these like building or animals, jungle animals right there, Tur turtles and like, I didn't see any monkeys, but uh, like pecans and all that stuff. And um, Yeah, that's all I remember about Nicaragua. I've got another video where I talk about my journeys there. Maybe that's why I didn't make this one, but I figured I'd upload this one since it has another title. 